guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. I'm in a bit of a different position today because I'm going to be doing a sort of spring clean of my shelves. Sort of inspired by a video that I saw Books and La La do. Um, however, she kind of had categories where she had to kind of unhaul a book in every category. Um, and I just, I don't want to do the whole category thing, so I decided that I would um, just kind of look at all of the shelves um, that I have and pick out some books that I'm not necessarily interested in reading anymore or um, because I'm making so much more use of my library um, where I can just get them out from the library um, and not necessarily have them on my shelf because I don't necessarily think they're going to be a favourite. Uh, which sounds kind of weird but I think you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna jiggle the camera about a bit and speed this next bit up of me kind of pulling things down off my shelf and then I will share with you guys all of the books that I'm going to unhaul <laughs> up of all of the books that I've taken off of my shelf and I've managed to get rid of 50 which I think is pretty good going actually and I've just freed up a load of space on my um, last bookshelf which is over here on my left um, yeah and I'm really really pleased with that um, I'm still going to do what I have been doing over the last few months which is reading things and then unhauling them if I don't think they're a favourite or if I didn't think that much of them and actually the first pile that I've got to show you was sort of sitting on top of my bookshelves ready to be unhauled in a video like this one so I'll show you those ones first I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these um but yeah uh otherwise yeah this video would be incredibly long so these were all of the ones that I'd had on my shelf um ready to be unhauled anyway first of those is the Honeymoon by Tina Seskis. I've got Jeffrey Eugenides' The Virgin Suicides. I've got Sarah Moss' The Tidal Zone. I've got Catherine Rundell's Reef Toppers. Then I've got Dennis and Greer, and this is by Molly Gould. I've got uh, John Green's Paper Towns. I've got A Man Called Uva by Frederick Barkman. I have got Rabbit Proof Fence and this is by Doris Pilkington. And then finally I have got The Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri. And so all of the other ones that I've got to show you I've just literally pulled down off of my shelves. So I'm a lot of these I haven't read um, and it's so I'm unhauling them either because I've not heard particularly great things about them um, or because I think well I'm not that interested in having them on my shelf but I could go and pick them up from the library uh, because my library will probably have them because they're quite popular to begin with so yeah we're just going to uh, jump into those. So I have this massive copy of The Passage by Justin Cronin. 
Do Not Say We Have Nothing by Madeleine Tien. The Dark Circle by Linda Grant. Uh, Nomad by James Swallow. The Painted Bridge by Wendy Wallace. Captain Crelly's Mandolin by Louis de Bernier. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Whoops. Uh, the Luminaries by Erna Caton. The Sun by Philip Meyer. Um, these are my husband's books, so we've got, um, these are like the secret footballer books, so you've got the secret footballer, what goes on tour, um, tales from the secret footballer and I am the secret footballer. I've got Vernon God Little by DBC Pierre, The Loney by Andrew Michael Hurley, At Norwegian Wood by Haruka Merikami. One Night Markovich by Ayelet Gundor Gushen. I've probably butchered that. Um, then these books are part of the series. Um, I'm keeping the first one because the author came to um, my school and signed it to myself and my husband. So, um, but he's not particularly interested in keeping the other ones. I haven't even read number one. These are the um, Time Riders books by Alex Scarrow. So number one, uh, I don't even know if it has a name, but this is, these are books 2, 3 and 4 of that series. They're quite a good, what are they, like middle grade or YA sort of time travel series, um, but nothing special and he's read them and he doesn't want them anymore. Then I have Pigeon English by Stephen Kelman. Talon by Julie Kagawa. Over the Line by Steve Howell. This is one of the arcs that I had and I'm just, I'm not going to read it. It's just not going to happen. So it's going. Maestra by Ellis Hilton. I've heard really negative things about this series. I think the third one is coming out this year. So yeah, not really interested. This is another arc that I received, The House at Bishopsgate by Katie Hickman. But I found out that this was part of a trilogy. This is the third book and... I don't want to buy the other two, I can't get them from my library, so I'm going to unhaul that one. Um, I've got Crossed by Ali Condi, which is the second book in, what's this called, the Matched series. Um, I just got book number one, um, or I can get book number one out from my library, um, I think, and the rest of the series too, so I'm just going to unhaul this one. Daisy in Chains by Sharon Bolton. And uh, um, 4321 by Paul Oster. I've been thinking about unhauling this for a while. I did say I would read it eventually, but I just don't think I care that much, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, this was an expensive hardback. Paid like 20 quid for this. It must have been a little bit cheaper than that at the time. I don't think it was that, that quite that expensive. But, yeah, no. Um, Never going to read it, so. Next I have uh, Wall by Hugh Howey. Talked about this in um, one of my videos last week. It was the Apocalypse tag as one I'd like to burn. This is The Girl in the Spider's Web by David Lagerkrantz. Nope. I've got Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. Um, this is Letters to Alice on First Reading Jane Austen by Faye Weldon. This is sort of like a university book that I had. I'm never going to reread it though, I don't need it on my shelf. Um, I have two books by Andrew Taylor. This one is um, The Scent of Death and then I also have The American Boy. They just don't interest me. I'd never think about picking them up, so they're going to go. Then this is the last little stack. So we've got Ketchup Clouds, and this is by Annabelle Pitcher. This is, I think, a middle grade book, or like early YA. I quite enjoyed it when I read it, but I don't think it's anything special for me to keep on my shelf. Um, this is the Raven Bite. The Raven Boys? The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevarter. Didn't really like this that much. Um, don't want to keep it. I might continue on, but I can do that by getting the books out from the library. 
This one I read quite a long time ago, this is The Republic of Love by Carol Shields, um, but it's just a really beat up copy of it, it's kind of ripped down here and things like that, um, so I might look out for a, a better copy of it. I do remember quite liking it though. I have the first two books in the Percy Jackson series, so Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, which I've read, and then Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. I thought the first book was alright, it was sort of like a mediocre sort of Harry Potter series. Um, I don't really want to collect them. Um, I might read them from the library, but yeah, not really interested in having them on my shelf. Um, and then the last two I also mentioned in my Abookalypse tag was books that I wanted to burn or books that I would burn um, and they are the first two books in the Divergent trilogy so we've got Divergent and we've got Insurgent is it a trilogy or a quartet? I don't really know um, again my husband's read the first two of these I didn't particularly feel bothered about carrying on um, and they've sat there for quite a few years now so yeah, I'm going to get rid of them and then if I want to read them, I'll get them out from the library. So that was uh, quite a lot of books to unhaul. Um, if you're friends with me on Goodreads, you'll, you can go and take a look at which ones I have already read. Um, or if, obviously if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll probably know the ones that I've read and the ones that I haven't. Um, but yeah, so... I, I believe I always leave a link down below to all of the rest of my social media, so um, Goodreads is down there as well. So if you want to um, be friends with me on Goodreads or follow my reviews or whatever, then you can check that out down there. Um, yeah, so 50 books, really, really pleased with that. The shelves are looking a lot tidier now. Um, I've never done a bookshelf tour on my channel. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to save it for some sort of like milestone in terms of subscribers because um, it's quite a big video to film um, yeah so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that because I do have a bookshelf downstairs as well that are, is more sort of dedicated to series um, and there's like a whole like Robin Hobb shelf down there uh, where Stefan's kind of kind of collected and read all of all of Robin Hobb's books so yeah let me know, let me know in the comments below whether you would um, like to see that um, in the meantime, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.